Hello guys, uh, today we are going to discuss about soft deletion, recovery and purge options available with Azure Key Vault. Uh, let's get into the portal and uh, have a look at how it practically works. So in my portal, you can see I have created two Key Vaults in the this resource group. So let me begin with uh, trying to create another Key Vault and just showing you how these options are, can be set in the create uh, window in the portal. So when you're going to create a key vault, you can provide a name and by default, the soft deletion is enabled with 90 days of retention period. The minimum number of days that you can set here is seven and maximum is 90. And there's an option for you to set purge protection, which is by default disabled. So when you enable soft deletion, what happens is if you delete key vault or secrets, keys or certificates inside the key vault, they can be recovered during the specified retention period. And if you enable purge protection, those soft deleted keys, secrets or certificates or even the key vault cannot be purged until the retention period is over. Once the retention period is over, it will automatically be purged. But uh, you can set these options after creating the key vault as well. So let me show you a key vault where I have already set up these options. Now you can see this is soft deletion enable key vault. And if I go to the properties of this key vault, you would be able to see here the option is set to seven days by me and soft deletion is enabled but I have not enabled the purge protection. So in my other key vault, key vault 2, you can see there is no, let me go to the properties and show you and in the properties you have to enable the soft deletion first. So let's see how we can enable this. You can enable this from here or you can do it from the command line itself. So first thing I will set my subscription to be used as uh, this particular subscription because I have multiple subscriptions. So I'm using az account set subscription command to set my subscription in the cloud shell. And uh, if you're using uh, outside PowerShell, you need to use az login and login to your Azure account. Um, so once I said that, I can go and update the key vault, uh, the key vault 2 with enable soft deletion to true like this. Let me set it to true and press enter here and I'm setting up it as 7 days retention. Now you can see this is executed and if we go and refresh this one, you would be able to see. that this is automatically now enabled. Now, same way I can even go ahead and enable purge protection. So what I need to do is, instead of saying uh, soft deletion enable, now I can say purge protection to true. So once I do that, even the purge protection is enabled in this particular keyword. Let's refresh and you should be able to see even the purge protection is now enabled. But the thing that you need to keep in mind is once you enable these options, these are irreversible. And even the retention period, you can't change after setting up this one. So let's move on to our first uh, key vault here and look at a secret. Now this secret is created here. So what happened? Now this is a key vault where soft deletion is enabled right now. So if I delete this secret, let me try to delete this one. So I can go ahead and delete. Now you can see this, the secret is missing. Now how I can recover this secret? What you can do is, you can go again to the command line and you can actually first list the deleted uh, secrets uh, in the key vault by executing this command. You can do az key vault secret 
list deleted and provide the vault name. So when I do this, you would be able to see the deleted secret name. What you can do now is if you want to recover this thing, you can say instead of deletion, uh, key vault secret recover and you can provide the name of the secret and you can just say uh, the vault name. So once you do that, okay, we can go and refresh and see the secret is recovered. One thing that you need to remember is when the soft deletion is enabled, when you delete a secret or a key or a certificate with the same name, you can't create another key or secret. But once it is gone through the retention period and purged, you can go ahead and create a new secret with the same name. But if you want to purge once key is deleted, what you can do is instead of executing the az keyword re secret recover command, you can just say az keyword secret purge with the same name and the vault name options. So what happens if I go ahead and delete this entire resource group? You can do that. If you delete the entire resource group, if you want to recover the key vault uh, that is de deleted already. So what you can do is let's try to do that. Let's go ahead and delete this resource group. So let me delete this resource group. So let's wait a few seconds until this is getting deleted. Okay, it seems uh, the key vaults have been disappeared, but the resource group also should disappear soon. Yes, now you can see resource not found. Now, if you try to recover the key vault with this particular command, let me show you az key vault uh, list deleted and you would be able to see a list of key vaults that are deleted and available as soft deleted key vaults. Now you can see uh, several of key vaults available and the soft del 02 and soft del 01 is also available. Let me say key vault recover and I can provide the name of the key vault should be um, kv dash ch soft del 01 and I can say the location is east us and I can say resource group is uh, rg uh, let me check the resource group name anyway uh, okay it should be rg ch something rg ch kv test 01 so let me try to execute this command and it will say the resource group could not be found. Now we have to go ahead and create the resource group. So let me do that. Oh, okay, that is a mistake in the command. So let's, uh, let's create the resource group. So once the resource group is created, you will be able to recover the key vault like this. So you can execute this command and the key vault is recovered now. So if I go back here and try to refresh this thing, you would be able to see the resource group and in a little while, you would be able to see the key vault as well. Okay, now you can see the key vault is recovered and even the secrets inside the key vault should be available to you. So you have seen how you can use soft delete and purge protection options. Now, if you have purge protected a particular key vault, if you try to purge it using az key vault purge command, it will not allow you to purge. So this is about how you can use soft deletion purge recovery options with Azure key vault. Let's meet you again with another short video like this on some DevOps tips and tricks.